a lot of my friends in Chapel Hill was telling me like how famous he was, but I didn't know because I don't listen to country music. So I guess that was kind of a stupid moment for me not knowing exactly who he was. But now when I see him, I definitely show him some love, and I mean I'm thankful for his support. Hi, Brian. When Hubert says I'm there, what does that mean for you? It's time to take it up another notch. It's, you know, that really fires us up. When he says that, I mean, it gets us all going. And we like ready to run through a brick wall. When does, when does he say this? Like any time? Like what time is normally because this is More like when he like really on edge, when it's like before a game, like before a game when people like count us out or just, you know, when he feels like he needs to get, get us to that point of playing at an even higher level. Over here on the back. And then you said you kind of keep tabs on what everyone else says about you guys. And yeah, 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 so, you know, uh, Jeff Goodman, uh, Jeff Kong Kong, you guys saw. Uh, kind of a lot of, you, you have a lot of games in the past. Like, what's, like, what's, what's the process there? Like, you keep tabs on the Yeah, um, I bookmarked uh, when you when he had us losing the UVA in the uh, ACC tournament. <laughs> I really do. I really do bookmark everything, and it's funny you asked that when he came in. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely. I just you know, it's something to look back on. And that's what kind of made it great yesterday when Jeff Goodman came back, because that was something I wanted to be able to see him at the final four and kind of look him in his eyes and talk to him. Do you tell like the whole team about stuff when you see here? Is it you know, is it internal for you? Is it? Did you like set the whole thing like, hey, Goodman says we're Yeah, it's more, yeah, we all saw that. We actually watched that before a game, and Coach put it on right before a game when we played, uh, I want to say, App State, because that was like right after we went through that tough stretch, and some of us on the team saw it, and then that was just a pregame speech. He just pressed play, and we just watched that video, and it was definitely an upsetting point. I mean, I was very emotional watching it. A lot of guys was emotional watching it. In the back? Ronda, I'm sure you've seen this picture, it's, it's Duke, you're like coming off the rim and Caleb's like flying like that, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What does that image mean to you? It's huge. I mean, I feel like that's definitely one of the classic images in Carolina history, and I think it's just something that'll definitely continue on, and it's definitely something I want to get framed. Um, it, it, <coughs> like, what, what is this just being here in general, like, for you? This is, like, I know you talked about a little bit this week, but, like, it sinks in, like, this day is, like, even more amped up than the rest. You know, what does it mean just to be here? I mean, it's huge. Not a lot of people can say they've been to the Final Four, especially for Coach Davis to already be able to say he's been to the Final Four, and it's a lot of great coaches who haven't made it to this point. I mean, I'm just really happy for him. I got to know first off, do you at least tag some of the positive stuff? Some of the positive stuff? Oh, uh, no, nah, never, never. It's yeah. always the negative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in Huber, his role as a motivator, how it's helped you guys. Brady was talking about after the Wake Forest game, he thought they, you guys were going to get torn into yep. before the 10th game. And he decided to be positive, and Hubert said going into overtime against Baylor, he said, how great is it you guys get to play five more minutes? How important do you think that motivational aspect has been to you guys getting here? For it's great and it's really soothing just because, like you said, in a moment like in Baylor when we had blew the 26-point lead, or however much it was, and then to be in a time playing Baylor in overtime in Texas, and I mean, they obviously had the better team at that point just with Caleb and Brady being out, and that's not having a lot of depth in for Coach. <coughs> to, you know, kind of comfort us in that moment. It was definitely relaxing. And I mean, I think that's why you're seeing Dontres hit that big shot and then me make those two free throws after having a tough stretch in the end of the fourth or well, second half. And just him doing that is just so great. And it's definitely just a different look than what we're used to. Appreciate you. Over here on the left. Hey, Steph, no sporting news. Uh, what do you think about when you're guarding Mark Williams and what makes that such a challenging matchup? Oh, just his length. He's a great shot blocker. He's got great timing, so you got to be smart. And I mean, he never really fouls. He's always, you know, affecting your shot. So it's a different approach than I have. Like, I have to have versus him versus other bigs because he's so strong. Well, not strong, but he got such great length and athleticism. Right here in the front. Uh, two-part question for you. What are the fives? 24 hours before what? I guess you can call the biggest game of your life. Just excited, just you know, glad and blessed to be in this position. That's all. And just calm, really. We're all just calm and just ready to go. And, 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 and it feels like you guys are, are in this position again after the game at Cameron to end the season. That was another game, the biggest game of your life. Propelled your guys to the position that you're in right now. So how how much experience can you take off of going into that game? 
Just going in and being poised. I mean, we went in a place in Cameron where we had like no shot of winning. And we just stuck together and was calm and poised and believed in ourselves, and that really, you know, got us to the top. I'll bring you on the left. Armando, you beat St. Peter's not quite five full days ago. Does it seem like five days, or does it seem like a lot longer? Has this gone really quickly for you? And are you yeah. anxious just to get out there and get this game going at this it point? It seems like forever ago. I feel like we played like two weeks ago, and we all just ready to get out there now. We just ready to play. As fun as the Final Four is, you're getting a lot of the same questions that we've heard for a while. Is it still cool when you're getting a lot of the same questions, or are you kind of ready for some different stuff? Yeah, we're ready for some different stuff, so we know we got to go out there and win. That way, y'all get another day of work, too, man. <laughs> How good is that? You know, Love I was working. thinking about that the other day. I asked Chris, I'm like, dang, so when we win, y'all get to work longer, too. So I guess that's fine, too. Y'all get to stay in New Orleans maybe a little bit longer. <laughs> Miss more spring football, too. Yeah, exactly. Here in the center. Thank